Every year around the world, as many as a half a million people experience spinal cord injuries leading to paralysis and a life that will never be the same. Until now. A drug cannot bring a new liver, a new brain, or a new spinal cord. So what we are providing here is a potential to cure all those uh, diseases that drugs cannot. You heard it correctly. Brilliant minds of the startup nation are just steps away from helping wheelchair-bound patients walk again. We provide the, the missing link, the missing part. However, uh, the body, in order to walk, in order to function, you need to train back the, the, the patient, these abilities. There is something special here. We are thinking outside of the box. We are su survivors and we know how to take a little and make plenty out of it. So now I can, I can show you how, how our tissue looks like. We have here in the fridge a sample of, uh, of tissues. Welcome to the lab at Mattresself, a biotech company where this talented team is literally growing new spinal tissue from the patient's own body. Here we have the engineered neural tissue that were generated from the induced pluripotent stem cells. Yep, it's sci-fi meeting reality. He is actually the donor for himself. So we will take a blood sample and then we will take a fatty tissue from the abdomen. And from these two small samples, we will generate a tissue. But also the fatty tissue will give us a scaffolding material which supports the cells and allow them to generate the functional neural tissue that we need. This promising technology is the brainchild of renowned scientist, Professor Tal Dvir of Tel Aviv University's Sagol Center for Regenerative Biotechnology. And we'll process it to become a hydrogel. Together with the cells, we will mimic the embryonic development of the spinal cord, eventually transplanting this uh, personalized uh, tissue into the patient uh, in hope uh, that uh, this patient will start walking once again. Already proven successful with paralyzed rats who were walking and running within days, Israel's Ministry of Health has given preliminary approval to begin compassionate use trials on eight Israeli patients. It's a part of a national pride to have this thing be tested and treating the first patient in Israel. So how exactly do we know on a nano level that it works? We call it the genetic engineering and, uh, and tissue engineering. We convert that into a neural, functional neural network, which mimics the same way how the original spinal cord was looked like before the injury. Here we can see very nicely um, that the tissue that we are generating are really uh, happy to connect with one another. If you can see here, we have like two tissues, one here and one here. These are our engineered neural tissue that we have generated, and they are sending extension uh, of, the, of the neurons, of the axons, one toward the other. So what we see here is electrical activity or electrical neural activity, and this is actually the final proof in vitro, in, in culture, that our engineered tissue are functional. It takes about six months in the lab for the patient's cells to regenerate into neural tissue before transferring it back into the patient. You take these pieces of tissues and you place them. It's, you fill the, the cavity, and this is the magic. They start, start to sending signals to the host. Now, this tissue needs to communicate, and you see a signal passes from north to south, yeah, from up to down. Wow. And that happens within weeks. And the timing is of the essence, as thousands of young IDF soldiers and reservists have become disabled during the war against Hamas, many of whom are now paralyzed. But first, they will perform trials on paralyzed patients with blunt traumas. Spinal cord injury is very local. We know that where is the communication cut off, and we place the, our product implant in that area, and you can measure qu quite easily the effect. We provide the ability to close that circuit again because 
now because this works independently and the, and the brain works independently and we just make the, just yeah just make the connection but you need to train yeah. this thing again and when these patients learn to walk again it will pave the way for a future where paralyzed people around the world will have hope of rising out of their wheelchairs once and for all